This is... Echo versus Chew. Which means... Echo versus Chew. This is another one of Semi's finals match. So we got Inkling versus um, Toon Link. I have recently gained a lot of respect for Toon Link as a character. I used to think he was the worst of the Links, but definitely don't think that... Well, I don't know, worst of the Links might still be the case, but only because Links in all forms are amazing in this game. But it was a young link that, or not a young link, a two link that double eliminated me from the last tournament. Unfortunately, I didn't even get to the two link this time. Like the Nair is really good. Wow, the competition is so stiff. The people are so good now. This is a lot different from what I experienced in the last tournament. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Alright, Lyco's on the map. I think that uh, Inkling interrupting the bomb pull caused it to explode automatically. That's kind of weird. Still got some bomb follow-ups, some Zares, and that's not Zares, I mean some Z drops. Laka wants to uh, not go out, wants to make it respectable, but Chu had none of that. The air dodge would have killed him anyway, but the back air spike. Uh, went ahead and sealed the deal. Alright, 
Sorry about the inattentiveness. I was keeping catching up with the latest going on in the stream on uh, Bad Kitty's side. We got uh, Lyco switching to Young Link instead of Toon Link. Most people would say that this is the better of the, uh, of the two small Links. And maybe even the best Link, period. Nice. Down till or down air up till. That was the hardest of reads. Two hits on shield. He expected him to roll into his up smash. But since he just stood there, it just looked super silly. This uh, character switch is looking like it might work out though, because he does have the first stock, and this is a lot closer than the first match. Pretty sure that that last hit was not supposed to be uh, a third hit of jab, but rather maybe a down tilt, possibly a smash attack. I doubt a smash attack because that would not have actually connected. So you only have to shield the first hit of roller. So if they keep on rolling into you, then, you know, just punish it. And if you're inkling, then you have to jump if you hit shield. That's to, that's the way that you would, um, ooh, double arrows. That didn't kill. Oh, that would have killed. Nah, it's not worth it. I know it looks really cool, but you're much better just going for um, arrow into forward air. The option that he went for though, like that would have actually killed at 70. But at the percent that uh, Inkling was already at, though, it didn't make any sense to go for it. Nice, nice. Oh, if he had fallen off, that would have been sick. I don't really understand what um, Lyco is doing differently as Young Link that he couldn't just have done as Toon Link. I mean, it could just be that he's got more confirms out of projectile hit. Ooh. He hit the, uh, the splat bomb, which made him slow down enough for him to hit the inkling. Nair will kill at this point. Yeah, as you see, it went on the complete opposite side and so almost got him. Nice gimp there by Chu. Without the rage, I'm not sure that uh, Nair will kill anymore. We got two minutes left on the clock. Oh, that's it. There we go. Yeah, that's one of the things that make Young Link so strong. He's got a super non-committal projectile that pops him up at the perfect hit, almost fixed knockback. It may as well be fixed knockback into his kill move. As far as I know, that's actually true. Arrow into forward air. But the thing is, you have to like commit to it hitting. 
So that means that if you're at kill percent and you got a young Link that's shooting arrows at you, don't jump at a shield because if you got hit by the arrow and um, then they're going to run forward and forward air you. So if you jump out a shield after it hits your shield, then you may as well have gotten hit by the arrow. So we're now one and one. I can actually just turn off Discord at this point. Just slow him down the stream. Nice. The parry. Lyco's got an amazing young link. I don't know what it is about this particular channel, what Bad Kitty happens, I don't know why he uh, attracts so many good Link variants. But like, I saw two top uh, Young Links, or not Young Links, Toon Links, and one amazing uh, Young Link. Haven't seen a Link yet. So this was Chu's counter pick. I don't know what he thought the platforms were really going to do for him. But so far it seems that... Oh, nice. Yeah, there you go. You gotta go out there. So we got the uh, the ink on him. He's not fully inked though, so he's not he doesn't have the full 1.5 damage boost. So if she wants to bring this back. Most of his kills have been from gimping. I can appreciate that. That's how I get most of my kills as well. And he's gonna go for something crazy. Yep. Sometimes when you know your opponent's gonna go for something crazy, it uh, kind of makes it go bad for them. Because if you just do a simple recovery quickly, or if you like, if you have an idea of what they're going to try to hit you with, and you just avoid that, then they're way off stage and you're safe. I think Chu needs to learn to jump out of roller. Maybe he's saving it for game four. That's really the only. Uh, tip I got for him. Uh, 
Oh, you gotta punish that. Sometimes you're losing so bad that um, you miss punish opportunities because like you have so much respect for your opponent and you think there's no way I'm going to be able to hit him. Uh-oh. Alright, he gets out and that's good because uh, he's evened it up just like that. That's the power of ink. I have no idea how character how people play people that don't have um, command grabs. Oh, that would have should have been another roller. Is that gonna be it? That's gonna kill. Nair will kill. And it did. Got a little antsy for the uh, roller kill. Probably could have just kept on grabbing him since he was so afraid that he was in shield a lot. he was going for the uh, short hop back airs and spacing that and just one of those times if he just did you know jump no back air land grab it's known as a tomahawk or an empty jump and I'm sure it would have worked especially on Wi-Fi Looks like the arena shut down. Yep. It's not just me though. I'm looking at Bad Kitty stream and that also is shut down. So right now we are two and one. is going to be the password. Six five five. Let me see. Alright, game four. Hopefully no one got their mojo kind of interrupted by that. That arrow is so good. 
If he had believed in himself, he could have gotten it, but instead he waited too long, so he had the chance to put up shield. That one was also like he could have air dodged to get through that. Uh, throw up there, yep. Oh man. That is active the whole time. Light charge just to make sure it killed. He's doing a good job controlling the space. Like, you got arrows, bombs, yeah, that's the, that's the attack shield uh, up smash in the other direction that he was trying to do earlier. Now you see why he was going for it, you actually see it working. Earlier you saw what happens if they just stay in shield and look silly, but you know, he got some good percent on it. When it works, it works. The bomb, that bomb like does, takes a long time to undo or to explode on its own. That's looking like uh, she's got all the momentum. And just like that, it's kind of gone now. Now it's kind of trying to get a foothold on Lyco's stage. And the stage definitely does belong to Lyco. You can kind of see how he's always in the center, throwing projectiles out. And Chu's always trying to get in. Anything could happen now. This might be something crazy, yep. He was going for something crazy. Oh, he stole that. He stole it. Nice work, Chew. Alright, game five. Is this the first game five of the tournament? I mean, it's definitely the first game five of the tournament. Because we've, I think, winner semifinals top side um, was game four. This is now game five. Mine only got to game three. It's a tough one. Like, if uh, Lyco thinks that he deserved that one, he might try to run it back to Battlefield because he was up like the entire time. He just got edge guarded at the very last second because, once again, sometimes your opponent goes for crazy stuff.
but at the same time, now if he goes back to the battlefield, it's his game to lose. And you don't really want to have that pressure on you. Smash being a momentum based game. Now, she was thinking, like, all right, nice, I beat him. Time to bring it home. Oh, he wants to bring it back. I won last time, I won again. In fact, they're still deciding to go on stages. I was kind of surprised about this. Laika was doing really well with the Young Link, and the only game that he's lost so far was with his Toon Link. Oh, that's fancy stuff. I think that one thing he might be trying to do so Chu's been playing Inkling this whole time and laiko has been kind of like you know, getting the download on that and um, Chu's actually been doing better and better each game against the young Link so maybe he's looking for a reset you know like I've completely downloaded your Inkling, but you maybe forget how to play against my Toon Link. Oh, the Inkling nerf hit him hard. Another example of too much respect for your opponent. He missed a, uh, a tether grab. And he stayed in shield. Right, he's doing a good job of staying in his face. I hope he continues to do that. It looks like he's starting to back off for some reason, because now that he's no longer in Toon Link's face, Toon Link is able to pull the projectiles that he needs throughout the boomerangs, the bombs, the arrows. real deep for that. It's a nice bomb play to start the stock off. Oh. These blast zones are actually really small relative to the end of the bla of the platforms because the stage is so wide on its own, on its own. It's also I think the first time that we've seen Lyco go for an edge guard. So he saved that for a game five to get him a stock lead.
Alright, he doesn't have a double jump. And he should be dead. Alright, so very little extra credit. That's pretty good for Chu. Let's see if Lyco is able to clutch it out here. Chu should be pretty close to kill percent. I just feel like Toon Link's bombs send in like a random direction compared to Smash 4, where they were like kind of sit sent them kind of up the whole out all the time. Z drop bomb into up air. That's a Smash 4 carryover. GG's to Lyco. He uh, didn't let that previous loss that was stolen from him um, get to his head, and he continued to stay cool, calm, and collected, and did what he needed to do.